Please stand as Mrs. Gustafson's class leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Second grade gingerbread house is decorating. On Friday, November 18th, second grade decorated their gingerbread houses. They took candy and other type of sweets to decorate their houses. They used sweets like peppermints, teddy grams, ice cream cones with frosting for the trees, licorice, sprinkles, mini candy canes, gumdrops, M&Ms, and Smarties. They did this for a fun Christmas craft. On Wednesday, November 11th, Ms. Sierra's class finished a book called The Whipping Boy. They were divided into groups and then assigned projects such as the life-size character, cartoon, and mini book. Also, they did a prairie mural. That is a drawing of animals with some facts on it. They look amazing, room 44. Kindergarten Thanksgiving Centers. On November 22nd, kindergarten had their Thanksgiving centers to help them learn about Pilgrim and Indian life. They did several projects, that, including Native American symbol plates, clay pots, turkey headbands, and they drew Indians. You did a great job! Good choices, assembly. On Friday, November 18th, District 140 had a Good Choices Assembly at Eureka High School. They went to learn about good choices. The main message was that you have to get good grades to do extra activities. They took a bus or walked over to get there. The basketball teams, cheerleaders, and the dance team performed. Make sure you get good grades so that you can be in activities like basketball. Elle and Matt got to be our superstars. They were really amazing. Good job, Ellen Mac. Mrs. Katar's Thanksgiving play. On November 22nd, Mrs. Katar's class did a play about pilgrims, Indians, how the pilgrims fell on the Mayflower, and how the Indians tried to help them live. Parents and grandparents came too. You did a great job. Oh, let's hold on. I think we have, excuse me for interrupting. Guess who? Miss Birchie. Good morning. We are here with Miss Birchie, whose job is a fourth grade teacher at Davenport Elementary. Thank you for joining us, Miss Birchie. Well, thanks for having me. Where did you go to college? I went to college at ICC, and then I transferred to ISU. Tell us about your family. Well, I have my mother and father, and then I have two brothers and two sister-in-laws, and one sister and then eight wonderful nieces and nephews, including Samantha Rose and Patrick, and then I just had another one, and his name is Augie, and he's really cute. Do you have any pet? I don't. I'm not really a pet person. List five adjectives that describe you. Okay, five adjectives. Um, I would say sometimes I'm caring, kind, um, let's see, I'm a good eater. If, I don't know if that's an adjective, but that's one thing that describes me. I like to eat. Um, let's see, I would say another one is a s mm, loving and fun what did you why did you want to teach at the fourth grade level well i love fourth grade because you guys are old enough to do things on your own but you're still young enough that you love school if you were stranded on a, des a deserted island what three things would you have and why i would probably take my bible 
I would take a picture of my family, and then if I could, I would probably take a, like one of those 24 packs of peanut butter like that you can get at Sam's Club. That's my favorite. Did you always want to be a teacher? If not, what did you want to be? No, I actually had a lot of different things that I wanted to do. When I was growing up, I wanted to sell cars. And then I wanted to be a dietitian because I wanted to lose weight. But then that didn't work. So I thought about teaching. And that's what I decided to go with. What Disney character would you be and why? Mm, I think I would probably be Cinderella because she has really small feet. And she can talk to animals. And she lives in a castle, and she got the guy after only one date. Thank you. You're welcome. Miss Birchie's family. What is your favorite winter activity? Sledding. <laughs> Building a snowman. Inside games, snowball fight, or other. The results were snowball fight, 43, sledding, 28, snowman, 13, other, 10, and inside games, 5. Snowball fight wins! These are more prizes for the PBIS drawing, Smashbot Battle, Lego Pits, How to Draw Concept Cars, Deep Sea Glow, Scratch and Sparkle, Spiral Art, Ribbon Bangles, Best Friends Art, Superhero Legos, Scooby Doo, Marker Everything, Make sure to save your carrying coupons. Make sure not to get any referrals. Miss Stephens Poinsettias. Miss Stephens' class made poinsettias to go with the Christmas tradition. They also did this to get everybody excited about Christmas. Be sure to check them out in the first grade hall. Mr. Garber do over Thanksgiving break. Over Thanksgiving break, I... A. Watch football. B. Read. B. Horseback riding. Rode horses with my daughter. Welcome to today's weather forecast. Today's weather is a high of 42 and a low of 33. Times of clouds and sun. Saturday, a high of 41 and a low of 29. Turning cloudy. Sunday, a high of 42 and a low of 33. Mostly cloudy, a little rain. Why did the weather ask for privacy? It wanted to change. Saturday, December 3rd, PTO Craft and Vendor Fair. Monday, December 5th, Christmas Concert Rehearsal at EHS. Monday, December 5th, Christmas Concert at EHS. Tuesday, December 6th, PTO Meeting. Have an awesome week! James Madison was re-elected. James Madison was born on March 16, 1751 in Port Conway, Virginia. He was re-elected in 1812. James Madison is on the $5,000 bill. He wrote the first drafts in the U.S. Constitution, co-wrote the Federalist Papers, and sponsored the Bill Right. He established the Democrat-Republican Party with President Thomas Jefferson and became president himself in 1808. 
Did you know that our Christmas program is on Monday, December 5th? It's at Eureka High School. Sing your best and hope to see you there. Yeah, that's all, folks.